Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, wherever you have this planet, Terry placement in your chart, claim it only if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, we do not force fit on this channel because there is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube, right? And speaking of that, wherever you are on this planet, whoever you are on this planet, shout out to you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We're grateful for your presence. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. And whether or not anybody's told you or not today, Delilah over here, Tiberius over there, and I love you. So let's hit this. Clear and ground for Sagittarius. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, here we go. Show me Sagittarius. A little heads up. Tiberius is looking out the window, so he might just start barking periodically. So there's that. Show me Sagittarius. Here we go. King of Pentacles, nice. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. The King of Pentacles is somebody who's financially stable, hardworking. They, you know, they could have their own business. They don't necessarily have to, but it's somebody that's very, you know, goal-oriented, routine-oriented, and they take it to the end. You know, they, they invest in things forever. So let's see. I'm seeing acorns. Acorns. <laughs> okay. What kind of acorns? Here we go. Somebody's flying kites. Somebody's going kite flying. I'm seeing a kite. Up in the sky, but long, uh, yeah, all right, well, that's fun. Here we go, show me. So now you got a queen of swords. All right, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. This is somebody who's probably single, very clear thinking, very articulate, very straightforward, very ambitious, organized. Queen of swords is perceptive, independent, constructive, we like this. So looking, you're always looking to learn things. I'm seeing a birdhouse. I'm seeing little red and yellow birds. Oh, somebody might have a bird's eye view of something here. Anyway, at the foundation of the situation here, you have a nine of swords. So somebody was stressed the frig out. They had anxiety. They were up all night. They were not sleeping, not eating, maybe hallucinating, trying to figure every little thing out. And then when there wasn't anything, making up things, right? It's like, that's when your brain goes into overdrive when you try to, uh, oh yeah, yeah, you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there could be some kind of financial failure coming up. I hope not. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it, this is some kind of family dispute, maybe over money. It's breaking traditions. Let's see what's going on here. So somebody's having some kind of, somebody could have been up all night worried about some kind of financial failure here. You know, what you think about, you bring about. So somebody could be, just because they're so worried, be manifesting this. Stop that shit. Show me. Here we go. What's coming in that they don't see, please? All right. Here we go. Show me. Should have started with the Kipper first. Here we go. We got the Hierophant. So listen, the Hierophant. Taurus energy for any kind of legalities. I'm getting high legalities here. Uh, there is some kind of knowledge sharing, maybe learning or... There's something about traditionalism, something about institutions, something about conformity, marriage, a commitment. Maybe some of you are going to get married. I don't know. Somebody could be... I'm seeing Alice in Wonderland. Maybe somebody's reading this book. Okay, I'm seeing the eclipse. So what is that? Uh, something could have happened at the eclipse on the eclipse. That solar eclipse in Aries, right? Show me. Some kind of legal situation. I'm feeling legal here. Now, there's a three of pentacles. All right, so here, teamwork makes the dream work. There's cooperation, you know, working together. Like I said, maybe learning how to do something new, maybe teaching somebody how to do something new. Shared goals and collaboration, right? I'm seeing a red brick wall, a red brick wall. So, you know, I'm seeing little green parakeets. Somebody's working with a hammer. I'm seeing a hammer specifically. Yeah, that one's flipped, but we're not going to take it because I didn't see it flip, Sagittarius. So, in your actual environment right now. All right, so you're looking at, this is your mind's eye. You're looking at something like teamwork's going to make the dream work, you know. And maybe some of you are going to go into business with somebody here. After some kind of, you know, problem with finances. Here. 
Hear me. Sagittarius. Thank you. So, Sagittarius. Oh, you have some kind of a new emotional awakening in your environment right now. I'm seeing little yellow butterflies. Cabbage butterflies. I'm seeing... Yeah. Somebody taught me that. I didn't even know what they were. But, yeah. I'm seeing cabbage butterflies. So, here we go. Oh, you got some kind of a new awakening, some kind of a new spirituality, some kind of a new intimacy, some kind of a new love for the Ace of Cups, right? Yeah, it could be, right? It's going to lead to marriage. Who knows? Let's see. What is Spirit's advice for Sagittarius? Tiberius, honey, could you please stop defending the world here? We're okay. Tibbs. Thank you. Ground yourself, dog. Here we go. Okay, so here you got to... I see... Listen. You have an emperor in reverse as your advice. The... All right, so the advice is... If you get any power here, don't freaking abuse it. Don't um, be excessively controlling or tyrannical. I'm hearing Tyrannosaurus Rex. Don't run around like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Don't be, um, you know, unstable or not dependable or not structured or not logical or not... Like, just don't... Out of control, not having any boundaries, not, uh, you know, not having any self-discipline. Don't, you know, don't lose control of stuff here. Don't let yourself go in any way. All you know, right? This is Aries energy. Even, like, physically. Like, this, you know, the Emperor in Reverse would be somebody I'm seeing sloth. Oh, God. I'm seeing sloth in, um, in the Goonies. Like, just, you know, letting themselves... <laughs> oh, God. Poor sloth. Oh, we like sloth around here. Anyway, so listen. Don't let yourself... Get slothish, okay? I don't know what to tell you about that Sagittarius. Maybe some of you are watching the Goonies. I don't know. Love the Goonies, but yeah. And so sloth I'm seeing. So something about sloth from the Goonies. Milky Way. What is it? Baby Ruth? Okay, so here we go. So somebody might be eating a baby Ruth. Somebody might be named Ruth. Somebody might call you a baby. Right? I don't know. I don't know. The thing is here, you have this new emotional awakening. And if some of you are just like letting yourself go, you're not even taking care of yourself, maybe you're gaining weight. I'm mm, Something sloppy, slothy, lazy, some sloths. What is that thing? I don't know. It's very lazy. Don't be lazy. Get a grip on your shit. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. This is what Spirit's saying. Get a grip on your shit. Tell them to get a grip on their shit. Get a grip on it. Get yourself together. Set your hair. Fix your hair. Look at this person. They put nice braids and little balls. Like, fix your hair. Okay. Brush that shit. Brush your teeth. Take a shower. Do, you know, fix yourself. To eat right. Lose some. Get, well, lose some, lose some weight, but maybe you don't have to. But what I'm saying is, eat healthy. Lose some. Lose the baggage of. Uh, you're gonna feel better about yourself. And don't be like so. You know. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex again. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here we go at the page of wands. So the page of wands is all about being carefree. It's a younger energy. Some of you can be getting some news or some information or something like this. It's about. Um, the Page of Wands also is somebody who's very energetic, extroverted, cheerful, fearless. You know, so go out like they live in the moment. They're not worried about tomorrow. I'm seeing a toucan. A toucan. What is that? That's that cereal maybe. What is that? Um, you, somebody's, okay, so you guys might have some oh, jealousy around you. You might have competition. You might have manipulative people. This person's moving these people around like chess pieces. You might have somebody who moves people around like they're chess pieces. Don't get... Uh, Involved in that. Somebody could be very jealous. Somebody could be in a lot of competition. I'm seeing a chess board. Somebody's really thinking about, uh, when you play chess, you really have to think, right? Somebody's really thinking about how to manipulate people here. Don't be one of these people. Now, this is Leo energy. Uh, this could be you thinking about how to manipulate people. This is the emperor in reverse that would be trying to manipulate people. So if you have somebody that's a Aries or has Aries in their chart and is a son of a bitch in any way, and you know that they're bossy and manipulative, they could have Leo in their chart too, and this is what they are. You got a Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands in this establishment is always Aries, all right? So you could be dealing with it. But this person here, whether it's Aries, Leo, or it's you, Sagittarius, this is somebody that's, you know, in charge. They're charismatic. They're vibrant. They are, you know, energetic, self-assured. When they walk in the room, actually, their energy walks in the room way before they do. Something's going to change here. Something's coming to an end. You're going to get some kind of truth or clarity in a situation. You could be dealing highly with somebody that has Leo in their chart. Look at this. I could have something to be strong, be resilient, and walk away. Walk away. Even if you have to ignore your emotions. Because there's things going on that you don't see. Oh, I'm hearing God sees things and heard conversations that you've never seen or heard about. Some kind of toxicity. What am I telling you? you should, yeah, somebody could have kept something secret here with the high priestess. Maybe you're, you're dealing with somebody that's Pisces. 
<sighs> Maybe some of you need to use your intuitions. I'm seeing red curtains like in a theater. Somebody might be going to a theater. Somebody's got a big uh, round necklace that they wear on their neck. Could have be like a blue, some kind of blue. And there's a, uh, some kind of good news or a message coming in with the King of Pentacles again. So we're leaving it there with the King of Pentacles when we started. Now, in this deck, you know already that there's two kings because there is no Jenza and Tarot, whoever wants to say that, could literally scratch my ass, all right? I'm telling you. You want to know why? Because it's not. It's about the genitalia. And if everybody's got masculine and feminine energy. So, yes, while this is a masculine energy, okay, you could be a female in your masculine energy, right? I know some males that are not nowhere near as masculine as I am. So, the proof of the pudding is, and I didn't make these damn cards, but um, here's another king of pentacles. It says king. So... For those haters that watch and want to, you know, pop in shit that I'm just erased. I will not even acknowledge you. It's beneath me, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. So, yeah. Um, so, probably, will it probably be a man? Most probably. It is a masculine energy. But it could be, you know, some whatever. It doesn't matter. Only you know if you're resonating in your masculine and your feminine. Don't let nobody tell you nothing, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you. Judication, 30. Here we go. So, there could be some kind of court issues with this judication. Obviously. And, you know, I, I hate to say this, uh, but it, it, the, something about this competition, this Queen of Wands, and this ending here, right? You're going to get some kind of truth. Somebody might have, and somebody might have been screwing around with the family finances. Oh, my God. Strippers. I'm seeing stripper clubs. I'm seeing prostitutes. I'm seeing gambling. I'm seeing drugs. Okay? Ten of Pentacles Upright is not only about financial security, but it's about, like, a happy family and legacy. Somebody broke that shit and spent all the family's money. This is what the problem. I'm telling you. You're gonna, so there's some kind of court. Now, something about maybe some paperwork, some documentation. However, the, you know, look at that. I could put my whole finger in between these two. This looks like a divorce. They're splitting assets. And this judge is, I'm going to tell you something. This judge is a nasty-ass bastard, all right? Male, female, this judge is nasty, all right? And he's already one-sided. He's already one on somebody's side. Like, And don't tell me that they can't be like that because they're people, all right? This judge is already sour in the face about something. You know what? Spirit says he didn't get his oral sex this morning, so he's all miserable. Yeah, Male, female. This person hasn't gotten late in the year. They're miserable. They got swamp ass. They're hungry. You know, and they're not, they got a, some kind of resentment towards women. And I don't care. Listen, men, I love you guys, if you only know. But I'm telling you, this. look at the face towards the female. So if you're the female in this scenario, uh-oh, scenario, keep your freaking mouth shut. Because this person's already biased. That's right, I said. And I don't give a rat's ass. Now show me. Sagittarius, watch your ass here. I'm getting like, ooh, am I getting aggressive? And that's not me. I stay in the flow. Towers, right? It's about the easiest off the way. Ooh, do I feel like I want to go? Yeah, like I'm feeling aggressive. So some some of you must be really angry about some kind of shit going on. That's not right. That's biased. Okay, something's biased for somebody out there. You can just see the look on my face right now. I mean, yeah, no, we don't like this. All right, so we're going to take it all. Listen, somebody's getting a gift because I like this card. Somebody's going to get a gift. 17 or 8. So you got 30 or 17 or 8. Whatever this gift is, I'll be anything. Somebody's going to get some kind of message nice. It looks like it's coming on some really nice stationery. It looks like it's probably coming in the good old-fashioned mail. Not like, you know, uh, but check your mail in your boxes. Somebody's got uh, a fountain pen that they might be writing with. Uh, and I'm seeing an old-school telephone. Like, you know, like, yeah. Yes, there's a mature man. So a mature man might be sending somebody a message. I don't know. Somebody could be in despair because of this judication situation. All right, whatever this is. And, uh, yeah, but especially if you're the one that the judge is biased against. 32 or 5. This person, this person looks like they're homeless. This person looks like they're hungry. This person looks like they have a drinking problem and they can't even run a tab in the bar anymore. They kicked them the freak out. I'm seeing a cobblestone street. I'm seeing one of those wood crates of like wine, a wood crate, a wood crate, whatever this means. This mature man over here, this man is, yeah, this man has got it going on. This man may be a little bit older, but he is dapper. He's got... He's distinguished. Somebody might have their um, their mustache like turned up at the corners, like old school, like you know how they used to wax the tips of their mustache. Somebody might wax the tips of their mustache, literally. So yeah, but this man, uh, he could be very world travel. He knows a little something something about everything. He's got books up there he reads. He's got the yeah. He might be good with geography. He could be from somewhere else even. He could be world traveled or something like this. Show me God up in heaven. Yeah, 18 or 9. There's a child involved in this or somebody childish, somebody younger, somebody naive. This person is innocent in some way. This person, uh, gullible. I'm getting the word gullible. 
There's something about lavender or pink. It looks like a little girl with big brown eyes. Sweet little thing. She likes animals, this kid. All right? She's walking around with that bunny like it's her best friend. All right? And somebody might... Somebody might have abandoned a child or didn't pay their child support or something like this. Okay, now they're in despair because the judge is on their ass. Listen, I said this judge was biased. And in the picture, it looks like towards a woman, but it could be towards a man that's not paying his child support. Something like this, all right? Or however it works, I don't know. I'm way past that. Trust me when I tell you. We're up to grandchildren around here. And look at a baby dinosaur. Rawr! Again with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So here we go. Now you got somebody that distant horizons. Let me get a little... Listen. Somebody could have to have moved away. Somebody could be taking a vacation. Somebody could be, you know, got from, in the military or the service. Somebody could just be in Jamaica or New Orleans having a hoo-ha. I'm here in whoa. Somebody could be, I went to um, some place where there's white sands, mountains, and beaches. I'm getting the Yucatan Peninsula. I'm hearing Peru. Somebody could be at, in Peru. That looks like the water looks beautiful. So something tropical. Oh, I'm seeing a whale or what is that? Some kind of whale wash up on the beach or a shark some kind of big big water mammal washing up on the beach. so it could be a dolphin a whale or um oh maybe even a sea lion where do they have those maybe in florida i don't know there's some kind of a some you're gonna see it in the papers in the next week maybe a whale or a dolphin or a yeah something like this washed up on the beach wherever this is this could be you know the Jersey Shore, this could be down in Florida, this could be anywhere, California, this could be on the other side of the world, but you know, doesn't matter. Show me anything else, here we go. So there's a new pathway opening up for somebody here, okay? This is, you know, if you were in any kind of dark guided souls, shadow period, or anything, or even in this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there's a new pathway, there's light at the end of the tunnel, there's butterflies for rebirth, also, yeah. So, and you have 35 or 8. 3, 3, 3 is your binaural. Oh, get 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, that's your binaural beat. You can do 3, 3s, 4, 3s, 2, 3s. Doesn't matter, just as long as it's the number 3. This is pure energy of the Ascended Masters. This is a very strong number. This is good. Anything else, Kippa, the Sagittarius, before we clarify? No. There goes Delilah with her snoring like she's, I don't know, what. Here we go. Somebody's working really hard here. Maybe because they're trying to get themselves out of poverty. You know, somebody's like, this is something that nobody wants to do, all right? It's a factory, it's a sweatshop, it's minimum wage, it's standing on your feet all day, it's having to stay very vigilant that your hands don't get chopped off, all right? This is not a career, this is just keeping yourself fed and the lights on. Somebody, because somebody's trying to keep themselves out of poverty here. So, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's concerned. It could be about somebody's occupation, that somebody's going to get hurt. There's an official person... Whoever this is, oh, you got the official person in high honors. This is somebody that maybe holds you in high honor. You hold them in high honor, something like this. You got two, two, two that could be uh, yeah, an angel code. Somebody wants to get married. Move to a new house, and there you go with the adjudication again. We're going to leave that right where we found it. Somebody could be going to court to get married, maybe even. I don't know, but let's clarify, Sagittarius, and thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. Here we go. Show me. Let's clarify for Sagittarius. So, yeah, you see, you got the five of pentacles. This is the, somebody's broke, maybe. <laughs> With this ten of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could have some financial issues. Somebody could have lost a job. Somebody could have left you out in the cold, or you could have left somebody out in the cold, right? This is a, a loss, however you look at it. Show me. And a side note, some of you, and this is going to sound absurd, but you know what? It's okay are trying to lose weight and you're literally starving yourself. You're not eating. And this is not how you're going to lose weight. Guess what? Because you're shutting down your system. Your system's going to think it's starving and it's going to hold on to the weight. So, you know, yeah, that's not going to work. Stop that shit. You're making yourself sick. Because <coughs> <coughs> you want to look like a freaking twig. All right. You got a queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this could definitely be you. Taking control of a situation. Being a boss. Being a leader, being a visionary, we had the Queen of Wands over here, you see? Now, you know, it could be somebody that has Aries in their chart predominantly, but it is fire. So it could be Leo or Sagittarius, who's to say? However, so this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with that may be broke or may have left you out in the cold or you may have left them out in the cold. Whoever it was, they took charge. The Queen of Wands takes charge, all right? They are not, uh, yeah, you have a Nine of Cups. So there's some kind of wish coming true here, okay? There's some kind of contentment, some kind of happiness. 
We like the Nine of Cups. It's a satisfaction. And uh, somebody was eating pineapples. I'm seeing pineapples. Nice. You know, if you put a little lime juice on pineapples, it's like the bomb. All right. So here we go. I'm seeing like, um, I'm seeing like, um, okay. So first I'm seeing like a brick oven pizza place. But I'm also seeing something about Mexican. Something Mexican. So whether it's Mexico or... Here in Madrid, Mexico, something like this. Here we go. Now, okay, so you got the seven of wands in reverse. Somebody's coming to tell you a confession. Or they're giving up. They're exhausted. They're overwhelmed. They're admitting defeat. They might be telling you something about that. Like saying, I, I'm... The confession is I'm done. I can't stand my ground anymore. I can't fight no more. I'm not doing this. This is a wish coming true. When this person gives up and comes to you and, and like, well, you'll know. Um, this is going to be a dream come true. I see somebody waving a white flag. All right, let me see. What else? Sagittarius. Give it to me. All right, Sagittarius. Here we go. Ooh, this could be a King of Cups coming in. Somebody could be coming in to tell you that they that they are uh, falling in love with you. Somebody could be going on a cruise, like a cruise. You know, um, yeah, listen to this. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. The King of Cups is daddy, right? The King of Cups is loving. The King of Cups is caring. The King of Cups, more than anything, is emotionally balanced and mature and available. Somebody's, yeah, somebody's coming facing right at you. This King of Cups is looking right at you. They know what they want. They're looking ahead. They are looking ahead. They are being very discerning at what they're picking, and they're picking you, okay? Somebody could have been confused. There could have been a lot of options. Yeah, they say that. But somebody, you know, somebody could have been very indecisive. Just trying to be very discerning. But this person's reaching for a cup over here. Merlin. I'm seeing Merlin. I'm seeing somebody with white, again, with the white hair and the beard. This could be an older person. Could be. With that, you know, with white white hair and white, like, facial hair. Maybe they wear glasses. All right, so three, six, let's go down here. So now, here we go. These two fell out, we're going to take them. You got the sun. So again, something's going to be illuminated to you. Oh, there goes the nose. Whatever it is, this is happiness, joy, prosperity, freedom, love. Here's the Ace of Swords. Some of you are going to get some kind of truth. I'm telling you this. The Ace of Swords is a clarity in a situation. It's power. It's a breakthrough. It's, uh, yeah, it's some kind of um, truth that's going to make you victorious. And it's going to be about somebody that has feelings for you. I'm hearing, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. I'm good all by myself, but baby girl, you make me better. So somebody here, yeah, they're looking at you like you're going to make them all better. Oh, somebody wants you to lick their wounds. You're going to get the truth about this. Sagittarius, this is good. It's going to make you so happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Show me what else is going on here with this. Is Tiberius is back. Okay, so you have an eight of cups. This is about detaching and walking away to go find your ninth and tenth cup. So whatever this truth is, it could be something that you're going to decide to detach from whatever the hell else was behind you and go forward for this ninth and tenth cup. That's for some of you. For another group of you, you could have somebody that's Leo in their chart coming to tell you some kind of truth, and this is going to make you detach and walk away. And we, you know what? That they want to come out of conflict. That could be the, you know something that they want to tell you. And they have feelings for you, and that's going to be like your karma and your victory, right? This is going to be a wish come true. You just wish this person would come and bow down. I'm not gonna say bow down. I don't say bow down, but they might be bowing down if I said it. Let me just tell you something. They might be coming in to tell you a truth and give you a clarity that's going to illuminate how they really feel about you. The way where there's confusion before. So I'm getting uh, narcissistic vibes, like somebody that was breadcrumbing. Yeah, now that, okay. Look at this. You got the full reverse. So, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of you are going to choose to walk away from this situation and not take this leap of faith. The full in reverse is about, you know, yeah, you're not going to be distracted. You're not going to be reckless. You're not going to be gullible, right? Nobody's going to be gullible in this one anymore. Right? Yeah, because look, it's coming in right on the child card. Gullible. Nope, 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 nope. So now you have Aries energy. Top of the Leo. Let me see. Show me. Okay, so here we go. You have, yeah, some of you, okay, you got three of pentacles. This is, again, with the three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. But in this depiction, this person is deciding to 
do something on their own. Learn something new on their own. Um, yeah, this person... Okay, in this depiction, this person is trying to learn how to become the Magi, right? The Magician. They have that green potion there. And some of you are... Um, you could be studying esoteric metaphysical stuff, or you could just be learning how to do something new. Something on your own. I'm seeing stained glass. Look at a stained glass. Show me. Seeing um, a pentagram. So it could definitely be something. Some of you might have a black cat. Here we go. All right, look, you got a five of swords. So somebody wants to cause conflict. Somebody, you know, wants to win at all costs here. All right, maybe because you don't want, you know, they're, they're angry now, they're jealous, they're deceitful. There is going to be some kind of fairness and balance coming in. Look at this. And it's coming in with the Six of Pentacles, which is usually the beggar card around here. But you know what? Stop tips. Um, the king, well, come up on the chair then. The Six of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, a giving. Somebody who wants to be supportive and helpful and, uh, you know, whatever this is. It's somebody who's trying to fairly balance whatever they have they're sharing but they're trying to give equally so there's going to and then the justice card talks about fairness and balance and equality so something's going to become fair balanced and equal and if there was you know something's going to be given out fairly something's going to be given out fairly here somebody might be coming in and being helpful and they're going to yeah show me what's going on here at the most likely outcome the page of wands this might, you know, whatever this is, this might give you a new uh, burst of, like, youthful energy. Where you could go out and just be, um... Yeah, look again with the two of pentacles now. Balance yourself out, be resourceful, be flexible. Getting yourself on solid ground. So this is all about balance here. Something's becoming very fair and balanced. You are getting yourself on solid ground. You got some kind of new, you know, energy or enthusiasm for life and learning. And learning especially here and... Uh, very nice. Got Libra energy now. So you balance yourself out. Get, being resourceful, being flexible. Some of you could be going on some kind of a boat trip, I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. There's going to be some more sadness, regret. You know, not everything could go everywhere with you or everyone. There's cups spilled over and that's the way it is. I'm hearing that's like that. And that's the way it is. Yeah. And so that's it. So get over it. I mean, there's nothing else you can do. You at least still have two cups in front of you that you can pick up. If you really want to be resourceful, like I always say, pick up the freaking cups that are spilt over, rinse them out, fill them up, all of them, with something fresh and new and have a party. invite like a couple friends over. Or go sell them in the pawn shop or something like this or somebody that wants these goblets and go buy yourself something nice to wear. At least, you know, yeah, well, it's a mermaid, so she really doesn't need any clothes, but you know what I'm saying. Usually it's that ugly black Nosferatu cape. Um... I'm seeing Oregon. I'm seeing Oregon. So again, with the Goonies. Something about sloth. Okay, that's Oregon. So some, somebody may live in Oregon. Listen to me. If you're in Oregon and you're not taking care of yourself, you're like, you know, snap out of that shit. Maybe you're depressed. Go out by the beach. You got that beautiful water over there. Yeah. Let's see. One more and we're calling it. Here we go. Listen again. Because it's Ten of Pentacles. And it's coming out like in reverse almost. It's trying to come out on this land. Get, you you know, some of you, you better, you may be lost in regret. You could be sad that whatever this was, you lost money. Like a lot of you are going to be really, you know, be careful of this with this Ten of Pentacles. You could have some family issues. Like I said again, somebody could have taken money and spent it where they weren't supposed to. On, I'm hearing them bitches and hoes. Somebody could have been, wow. All right, so here's the Queen of Swords. King of Wands, oh my God, and the Empress. There's like a number of people here. Look at this King of Wands. He's, he's stifled in between, hold on, listen to me. The Queen of Swords and this Empress. So there could be somebody that's, oh God, all right, look here. I don't want to give you this message, Sagittarius, but I have to. This fire energy, whether this is you, the King of Wands, or somebody else that you're dealing with, whatever. And I said there could be somebody given, given to somebody else. Somebody could have somebody pregnant on the side, all right? Or, for another group of you, somebody could have a wife at home pregnant and they're out, you know. Anyway, the Queen of Swords is not somebody to mess with. They're fair. They're usually single. So this is the married one. This is the single one. Looks like the wife is pregnant at home, right? This player from Malaya is spending money out, you know. 
Let's not say the Queen of Swords is bad. This Queen of Swords might not even know. Oh, the Queen of Swords is going to find out because she's got the Sword of Truth. So this person bullshitted somebody. Anyway, somebody's over here working. They're committed. They're dedicated. They're focused. This could be somebody from somebody's past here. Somebody could have somebody pregnant and, you know, and they could be... This is what's going on with this. Be careful. You got some kind of karma coming and some kind of denial. All right. Thank you again for the like and subscribe. Always remember, leave your logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.